Hey there guys and welcome to this let's play of Into the Breach. I'm your host Kingdom Freak and on the previous episode we did Archive Incorporated and Pinnacle Ro Pinnacle Robotics and we are going to go into the final island on this episode because I kind of want to try and see if I can beat this thing. Um, oh I can't, mo can't move it there, dang. I'm gonna do there, there, and there. Oh, please tell me I didn't land on something somewhere where my... <laughs> where they're going to land stuff. Okay, so they actually... Actually f force you not to move there. Okay. That's cool. Mm. So, you attack third... So, you moving here is actually a really good move. Because it means you deal two damage to everything there. And that'll be the end of the turn there. Well, you're dying. Oh, it goes in in the wrong order. That sucks. That's unfortunate. Gonna end the turn there. Oh, wow, the 35%. Oh wow, you really need to get out of there. Wow, this is a really difficult turn. If I do this, I push you into there. I can use you to push you into there. Just end the turn there for the time being. I could do that. And I will do that. And turn. It was a pretty ineffective turn for the volcano. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, let's see. The Rhinefield Bomb. Okay, so we've got this one, which you should just get pushed, pushed there. You shouldn't. Let's just push you into the lava, because that's a good idea. <laughs> that. Wait, what's what's hitting it? Oh. How much damage is it doing? It's dealing one? Okay. One damage to the bombs still okay for the time being. Doesn't mean the Rhinefell bomb is in a bad spot at the moment. Really? Ew. Why? Um... What goes first? It's the environment first. Actually, I should just get rid of these, right? Yeah, we're gonna get rid of them. Sorry, there's gonna be one less. <laughs> one less spawn. Okay. Okay, that's still good for me. Oh, last turn. Oh, I win this turn. Okay. <laughs> well, I finally beat the game! <laughs> what happens when we actually finally beat it? Or you'll share the grave with the Vec. Okay. <laughs> I 
Total Earth lives saved, approximately 4.6 billion. Wow. That's a really cool victory screen. Huh. That's honestly really cool. Really, really cool. So I'm just having my thoughts on the game at the moment, and what I'm thinking is, this game is good. Um, the only thing is that you, as I'm having a think, think about the difficulty and why a, why hard is ah oh, damn it, uh, why hard isn't actually necessarily the best thing to get, uh, be doing. But, it is a normal victory. Um, personally, this is actually really, really cool. Um, Yeah, it's it's a really really cool um Yeah, it's a really really good it's a really good game. The only problem that I see with it and a lot of people are probably not going to agree with me on it is that you can't you can't actually play on the hard difficulty if you haven't played the game before. You can start on it, and you can just probably do that, but I think when you're starting off in the when, in the game, normal difficulty is actually the best one that you can do. And if you're not familiar with um, if you're not familiar with uh, roguelike games, easy is probably the best for you. Um, I am familiar with it, so normal is actually probably the right difficulty for me. And this is only for experienced and hardcore Into the Breach players. So I'm having to think about it for the uh, review that I'll be doing on it. Um, but it is actually a... This game is very interesting, I'm going to say that. Yeah. I'm just... This is just now my thoughts on the game. Uh, let's see if we can actually go back and review the credits. Because I kind of accidentally hit another button trying to turn down the... <laughs> turning down the volume, unfortunately. So, this is the credits, this is the credit screen. Um... I don't know if there are any mods, so if there's actually anybody that would like to let me know if there are mods for this game, let me know. I don't know if- I don't know if it would be good to even put mods into this game. Because there's already a lot- lot of, uh, content in here that probably doesn't need any additional work. Um... Yeah, the only the only big criticism I have on it is that it just doesn't the game does it does look interesting and is very very good to play. But unfortunately, it's one of those games that you have to either like the genre or actually just like the game in general to properly play it and be invested into it. Um... It's just very, very... Um... It's very, very weird. The style of game is very, is very rigid. Um... And... I do want to admit that this is actually a good game. 
I'm just hoping that there could be a another and uh, maybe another version version of this game that could potentially come out. Um but it should be okay though. Um yeah, I'm just at the moment now just rambling. So, what we're probably going to do is go on to uh another thing. Let me have a double check. Finish three corporate islands without dropping below four grid power. Ouch. Oh, whoa. Yuck. Yeah. No worries. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time where we'll potentially do another episode of this game. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.